So, Miss Dara, I asked your friends and family to describe you in one word. They said, organized, hardworking, loving, persistent, breathtaking, humble, genuine, remarkable, loyal, and many people said strong. Sisters, what a special word, a bond like no other. We can rave or complain about each other, but everyone else better have only nice things to say. First, dear, I just want to say how honored I am to be one of your maid of honors and stand by your side on such a special day. And um, during the weeks leading up to this day, I've been doing a lot of reflecting on our childhood. So a few weeks ago, I started watching home videos, and it was really evident that you weren't too fond of me growing up. What wouldn't I do just to be around you? You were the coolest person I knew. As high school rolled around, I think both of us realized we had no other option than to accept the fact that we were going to be best friends. So being that you, Dana, and I slept in the same bed until Dana was in high school, And yet, this was my choice. I hope you now realize that that person you chose last would play the new brother role for me. This played a big part in my protective manner. And as I've been missing that brother figure for nine years now, I wasn't wanting someone to replace it, but rather to fill in for that spot. Mitch was the one guy that I finally accepted to be my sister's forever man. And it's been extremely big shoes to fill as a brother, but he's also proven to be pretty dang good at it. I would like to thank the, the Lansings for putting on this amazing wedding and raising such a great woman. And mom and dad, thank you for raising a son you can be proud of. That is incredibly handsome, smart, funny, talented, and all around good guy. But enough about me, we're here for me. Mitch, you're the best little brother I could ask for. You're a friend to everyone you meet. I speak for all people here when I say uh, we are so glad you two found each other. Dara, I don't know you as well as some of the people in this room, but the time I have spent with you has shown me that you are a wonderful person who has been a great impact on Mitch, our family, and everyone you have met. Aaron and I would like to start by thanking our parents for all their hard work and sacrifice, not only for our wedding, uh, but also showing us uh, that true love is built off hard work, sacrifice, lots of laughs and love. Uh, we know it's cliche, but uh, this, day, this day could not have been accomplished without you guys. We are truly humbled 
by the show of love that we've received from family and friends, not just today, but also over the last two and a half years. Um, so many of you guys have helped us grow as a couple, and without you, this beautiful day would not have been possible. To my beautiful bride, this day has come, and without your hard work and planning, this would have never happened. I've never met someone who is hardworking, shows more love and support than you. You are my best friend and I cannot wait to see what life has in store for us.
So now, if you would all please raise your glass with me for a toast to the new Mr. and Mrs. Mitch Holland. Let's raise our glasses to the youth and happiness to come. Cheers. Please raise your glasses to my sister, to her new husband, our forever brother, to the meaning of family. I love you.